from Rooting for Mouth Microculture. You know, I want to hear more stories about the microbes that are keeping us alive, the microbes that are helping to balance our ecosystem and our, and our, and our environment. And you don't really hear a lot about those stories. My name is David Sun Kong. I'm a synthetic biologist at MIT, and um, I work on all kinds of different technologies to make biology easier to engineer. Your phone is probably one of the you know grossest things that you have. You're touching it constantly by sampling the microbes on your phone. It turns out that also is a very good indicator of what your microbial communities look like as well. Most bacteria are at some level good for you. Yeah. And we've been spending all our life going after the bad bacteria. We need a diversity, and we need all of these things in our system. And they're more complicated than we thought. We've got about 100 trillion microbes that we are existing and cohabitating with. We're in a really healthy balance with them. And uh, understanding what that balance is like and then being able to tweak uh, when things are out of balance um, is a really important kind of higher level thing that's going to be accomplished. There's DNA that's being exchanged between these microbes. There's horizontal gene transfer that's happening. They can't survive without each other. Games are an amazing way to learn, to educate, and also they're really, really fun. You get to be a microbe, and you get to participate in trying to build and create the largest diverse um, community of microbes. It's a competition to have the most microbes in your skin microculture. There's four teams. We've got the gut, we've got the skin, we've got the airway, and we have the mouth. These are all places where we find a lot of microbes. Um, and you recruit for your team. You're going to become the Pasturella multitocida. Not common in humans, but can be passed to them via animal bites. All you have to do is follow multi-cult skin. I also get to give you one of these representations of our microcultures. Put this in your badge to show your allegiance to the skin. And then that will join our tally board, and we will be the largest microculture by the end of South by Southwest. The card game, I think, is, is nice because it's informational, so you're actually learning some of the science of these different microbes. Now we're going to go try to find people to play our game on the street. Let's go. You have to find someone who can fluently speak more than two languages, because the Staphylococcus aureus needs to live with other bacteria. Lisa, you fluently speak two languages. Yes, I do. Here you go. Film yourself you. accepting this. Okay. Peter, you're doing really good. Yeah. Except for the Twitter part. South by is actually the body. Just like, uh, you know, we are the body and we are host to all these organisms. You, the microbe, are a part of this South by Southwest meta organism. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yes. I'm, I'm with the MIT Media Lab. I have to find someone who came to South by alone. Did you come alone? Yes. You have to take this. It's a bacteria, but not a real one. And you have to follow this on Twitter later. It's really like an icebreaker game. It's perfect for South by, where you're meeting yeah. new people and trying to find them. It gives you an excuse to talk. I feel exhilarated. But it also teaches you a little bit about the fact that we've all got this bacteria right. throughout our bodies. Have any of you moved in the last year? You have? Okay, cool. This one would be you. Follow our culture on Twitter. By the end of the weekend, whoever has the most people in their bacterial culture wins. Shaking hands is actually a physical representation of it. You actually exchanging microbes and then you passing this token, this card, that uh, that's also a representation of you and exchanging microbes. Now I'm trying to find someone who loves cheese. Or who's done a cleanse in the past year. So two very different people. No, never done a juice cleanse. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Um, so I'm recruiting you. The best thing when you design games is to see people play them. That's what's happening. It's great. We've got like about a hundred players right now registered on Twitter. Their little microbe shows up on a map that we have of the skin flora. So it's exciting. Hundreds of people participated, so uh, I couldn't have really imagined it going any better. You know, my hope is that through games, through other interfaces, um, you know, we'll really be able to affect and change everyday people's lives.